Welcome back to the Tide Dream Hanger. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about the Fan First Friday. We just had this Friday talking about G.I. Joe Classified and O-Ring G.I. Joe's. It was one of the better Fan First Fridays for G.I. Joe. It was quick to the point, about 20 minutes of actual content. The first 10 minutes of it was just kind of waiting to get started, but still, it was quick and to the point, but not as informative as I would like, and it was some good points. There were some meh points, not really any bad points. We're going to talk about all this coming up. So first off, I want to talk about the O-Ring figures, and there's going to be a trooper pack, a Cobra trooper pack. You're going to be getting the trooper and an officer, I guess is the way this is set up, and it looks very retro, very retro-esque, but by looking at it, you can kind of tell that it is different than the original vintage ones, but they try to keep it as close as possible, but it's not exactly the same. You'll be able to tell you the difference in hand is the way I see it. Now, these are all digital renders. These are not actual products, so it's still good-looking figures. No price point, no packaging, no idea how it's going to come. Maybe it's going to be like the Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes, which I'm going to talk about in just a second, but it's good that they're doing this. Good that it's true builders. Good that we're getting a true builder and you're not getting... A main character in there so there's a lot of good stuff with that so people probably be buying multitudes of these so they can army build or troop build but I guarantee these will sell out pretty quick the next two pack here is going to be Duke and Cobra Commander and so it looks like they're all gonna be two packs so I'm starting to just assume they're all gonna be $40 for a two pack which is terrible in my opinion that's just a horrible price point for these figures they really should be closer to the 12 or 13 dollar price point that we have the standard retros in but uh, I, I we don't know price yet i'm just guessing now the thing about this is the these figures have more of a classic cartoon look so this is looking more like the animation than the original figures and less like the original figures but i do kind of like this i like that they're slightly different in a way and they're not exactly the same as the originals I think they look great. I think the colors look good. Everything looks good about them. I love this. I really need to upgrade my Duke in my display, but I'll probably put this guy in there. But at the end of the day, 40 bucks for a two-pack, if that's real, the real price, is going to bother me. And we've already seen Hasbro Pulse have this two-pack here with Storm Shadow and the Snake Eyes, and I would have liked to have gotten a set, but I, I was still, I'm still in the $40 sticker shock. Like, I'm shocked these things cost 40 bucks per set. So I never ordered it, I never bought it, they're sold out, so I guess I'll just do without. But I have originals anyway, so I guess it's not the end of the world, but it would have been nice to have these too. So anyhow, uh, I'm assuming since these sold out, they're going to just keep that price point. And this is all assumption now, because they didn't give us all the information in the live stream, like I thought they would. So getting into the nitty gritty here, and what everybody really wants to hear about is G.I. Joe Classified, or... <laughs> As some people are calling declassified, it's declassified now. So it's more of a retro look, and I really am happy about some of these, and most excited about this in the retro look. And the reason is because we finally get this. We needed this, and let's compare it to the original. So side by side with the original G.I. Joe classified gung-ho, a couple of things. Starting at the top, they went with a more correct hat than what we got the first go around. I think they did better with the eyes. Of course, this is a render still. The mustache is different, and then just going all the way down, the vest is different. It's a different color of a vest. It's more retro. I'm sure the backpacks, which they didn't show, is going to be different. And then uh, the tattoo is the same, but a different color. Then you go down, the belt's a little bit different. The pelvis piece is uh, the same, but different color. And just all around, it is a better coloring of it. And at the bottom, now I can't tell 100%, but I think they've kind of change the shin guards a bit and so there's a redesign there if not it's just since it's a render this is just giving you what you want to look at but looking at this this is what we should have gotten in the first place and i'm not mad at it or anything because they were going for something different in the beginning we don't get to see the weapons we don't get to see the accessories any of that kind of stuff yet so i'm, I'm just really strange they put all this work into it yet it's still unfinished so there's a youtuber ironkin uh, 3000 who is it's kind of hilarious when he does his stuff. It's, he says some funny stuff, but uh, he points out some real serious stuff too, like this action force, this Valiverse. And with this Valiverse, there was supposed to be some sort of a declassified gear pack. I didn't even know that this was a thing that was going on, and I guess it was to upgrade your standard version of Gung Ho 
to be more classic looking and now now they're gonna come out with a classic one that looks even better than the upgrade gear so this is kind of interesting so i think that originally the idea for valiverse probably would have been a great idea i would have loved to put that on my gung-ho versus you know what i had already but now looking at what we're gonna get i'd rather just go full-on classic from gi joe classified and work that out because i think that would look a little bit better what they're doing with gi joe classified at hasbro than just trying to kit bash your own figure using that gear okay so i'm trying to move a little bit quicker here and so now we're going to get into lady j and i think that I think that the First Lady J wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. Now, getting a more retro-inspired one, I think the retro one does look better, but I don't think it looks miles better, just a little bit better, and it's because of the paint apps, and she's going to have better paint on her face, and I'm wondering if they just redid the entire head, or if still the old head with a swappable wig gimmick, I don't know, I don't like that, but uh, maybe they fixed that, and I was kind of assuming they'd fix it, but... The biggest problem is that this figure is already a peg warmer, a shelf warmer, and she's probably, her and Cobra Commander are sharing the most uh, shelf space as any other figure set ever, so in a, in a wave. So, looking at it, it's, it's unnecessary, and aside from the card back, which we're, we don't know what the packaging is going to look like yet, it just seems like a waste of a slot. So, yeah, that's a waste. And the next one that's going to be getting the retro treatment is the Baroness. Now this is a render, and we're just going to assume a lot from this render. So assuming from this render, it looks like they've gotten a lot smoother in the thighs and in the stomach or the abdomen area there. And I don't know if they're really changing that out with smooth texture or what. So And then the, the arms look smoother, or maybe it's still going to have some texture. It's just going to be painted different. Who knows? I mean, this is renders, and... Uh, again, we're just making stuff up, looking at renders, and just picking at it. But overall, it doesn't look a whole lot different than what we already got. And what we already got was pretty nice. I thought it was a pretty good-looking figure. Again, we don't see her accessories. We don't know what color her guns are, or what her guns look like, or any of this kind of stuff. So her glasses are all black versus having some, uh, some gold highlights to them, or whatever that is on there. So there's some changes. But the big deal here is that most people want just a Baroness, in my opinion. I don't think hardly anyone really wanted the motorcycle and so it was kind of a $40 unnecessary purchase now you can get this for like 23 I guess I'm guessing too because we don't know price yet but still getting a standalone Baroness is good so looking at the Destro and talking to a few people about their thoughts on the Destro I don't think he looks a whole lot different I mean, truthfully he's not that much different at all uh, just more or less more monochrome in the overall kind of jumpsuit that he's wearing and slightly different than the belt and the reds might be slightly different a little bit softer I would think they actually should be a little brighter so I mean looking at it side by side not a huge difference in the Destro maybe the head is a little smoother but again this is a render so we really don't know but I, I think the Destro was one of my favorites Destro and Duke were pretty good they're pretty solid right out the gate and so was the Baroness so getting the retro inspired they already matched the retro pretty close so I don't see a huge advantage to Destro being a character, some of the other characters might have needed it. And I know, like, we kind of got Roadblock already, and he kind of got a retro overhaul, but this doesn't make that big of a difference. In my opinion, what do you guys think? So next up is Stalker, and he looks kind of cool. I, I just, I'm curious about his colors being so muted. When I first saw the picture, I thought, is he in gray? Or is that just, like, a really, really odd, like, green? That's, that's, it does look a little bit green, but it looks almost like grayish green. So I think the colors aren't as vibrant and they don't pop like I would expect them to and aside from that I mean the figure the sculpt looks fine everything looks good and he's got this this scarf that, that looks like it's even soft because I don't know if it's plastic or what I did watch it I don't remember if they said it was plastic or what it was made out of but here's the reason why I kind of thought it should have had a more bright paint scheme maybe it will be more bright when it's made but the one we're getting this Walmart shelves right now and it's just uh, peg warming like like 30 of them in every Walmart right and it looks amazing. I think I think it's a very nice looking figure, and I expected the same colors translated over into the G.I. Joe Classified line. And so I, I kind of prefer this figure that nobody wants to buy at Walmart right now. I, I prefer that aesthetic to what we're going to get. But then again, I mean, I might be in the minority on that one. So uh, what do you guys think? Do you like the look of the retro one that's at Walmart right now or the one that's going to come in Classified? Or will we get the Classified version and then get a recolor later? 
And lastly, the most exciting new news, which we've already kind of known about. And this isn't lastly. There's one more thing to talk about. But Tomax and Zaymont, I think they look good. Now, here's the thing. This is kind of one of those, they're going straight retro right out of the gate with these. And they look amazing. It, it, I'm not let down at all. I'm pretty excited about it. We don't see the accessories or uh, all that, which still kind of blows my mind. Like, how are you going to reveal all this and not have accessories or packaging or that, any of that kind of stuff? So, uh, we don't, I don't even know if we have numbers for these guys. But still, looking at it, I think they look great. So, I mean, let's positive. Uh, on the positive side of things, they are nice looking figures. I look forward to getting them. It still seems like they're going to be separate pack and not a two pack, which is which is fine as long as they're equal number are produced and put in the cases. But evidently one of them is going to always be a little more popular than the other for whatever reason, which will have some mismatches in collections down the road. So getting into the Viper 3 pack, and this is going to be a troop builder with a Viper Commander, which kind of has a gold faceplate and a red color scheme and then we've got recolors of the original viper so you have now, now here's the thing you're gonna have some gray on it and there might even be other recolor uh, aspects to it but i don't like the gray as much as i like the black and so if we can bring in a standard trooper over here and we can see the look of it here i like the original one better and i i think that it's kind of good in a way that you let the original one feel like it's special and the new ones are going to be something a little bit different than their special also. But it's it's kind of nice to have the, the breakup, but I still like the original one a whole lot better. I like the black vest and the legs and all that kind of stuff instead of the gray. I think that looks a whole lot better with the original look. But to get a troop builder now, I'm no price, no packaging, no availability. Is this three pack going to be all packed in one packaging? Will it be three boxes stuck inside another box? Nobody knows yet, and will there be a number associated with it, which probably not, but we don't know. So looking at all of this, taking all this into account, it's a good thing. We, what's the price going to be? It should be something like 50 or 60 bucks. I'm guessing it'll be 70, of course, because they never like to give us a deal. So anyway, what do you think about these reveals? Is this exciting? Is it just kind of like ho-hum, not really that big of a deal? There's some good things that they revealed. There's some good stuff that's on the way. I think that they're going in the right direction with Classified. Still kind of some unknown, uncharted territory here with starting all from scratch with the O-ring designs. But anyhow, I like to hear what you guys say in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and Titerium Hanger out.